this is the first time we've heard from the CEO of Life Without Barriers, Claire Robbs. She has expressed deep regret and sadness at the violence and abuse that uh, residents in two of the Life Without Barriers homes experienced, one in northern New South Wales, the other in Melbourne. And she has acknowledged their pain, their fear and the frustration, not only of the residents and what they experienced, but also the families and the way that Life Without Barriers responded to some of their complaints. She's apologised to each individual who has shared their story with the Disability Royal Commission. And let's have a little listen to just one of those apologies. For Natalie and her family, the sexual misconduct by a staff member is completely unacceptable. And I acknowledge the pain and trauma that has caused Natalie and her family. Our priority should have been to protect Natalie earlier. I offer this apology to both Natalie and her family with a full understanding that our delay in offering a genuine and human response was also unacceptable. So, Naz, what have we heard about the home in Lismore in northern New South Wales? Yeah, well, look, Natalie was one of the residents in the Lismore home. That's who Claire Robbs was just apologising to there. And we heard from 